Hi there and welcome to the channel. A couple of firsts today. First, I'm wearing a suit. Uh, this is the first time I've put a suit on for about two years and it's probably the last time I'm going to put on a suit for about two years but it's a sort of special day. And secondly, I'm going to Cranfield University to see the arrival uh, of a brand new research aircraft which is coming into land. In terms of photography, the challenges today are about making sure that I can track the aircraft as it comes into land, making sure that the pictures are sharp, um, uh, trying to get some detailed shots perhaps in the cockpit, pictures of some uh, VIPs standing in front of the aircraft. So let's see um, what happens. I'm using my Fuji X-T3 um, with my 55 to 200 lens for the aircraft uh, coming into land, possibly my 10 to 24 to get wide angled shots of the aircraft. I hope to be able to talk to Professor Graham Braithwaite uh, who has been responsible for bringing this aircraft in and he can tell you a little bit about what this aircraft is. So hopefully let's cut over to Cranfield and uh, see what happens. So today is a monumental occasion. Uh, we are anticipating the arrival of uh, Golf November Foxtrot Lima Bravo. It's a Saab 340 which is about to start its life as the new flying classroom and laboratory. And it is currently on its way from Linköping in Sweden and hopefully about to touch down at Cranfield this afternoon. So today we stood on the balcony of the Digital Aviation Research and Technology Centre which will be officially opened next week. So behind me you can see the 737 which uh, British Airways very generously uh, donated for us to use for research and teaching. And it's sat here under a research area which is based on the hangar of the future. So there's a, a variety of instrumentation, we have netting which allows us to fly drones within this area for inspection work. We've got a robot that crawls over the aircraft but we can do that without interfering with uh, uh, airport operation here uh, and then ultimately once we've resurfaced the taxiway here um, the National Flying Laboratory um, Saab aircraft will arrive here and we'll use the experimental terminal building here for students to go through try out some of the um, touchless technologies and so on that are being uh, developed for that airport experience and they'll go out to fly on the aeroplane so it's a really exciting uh, feature of the campus now. So the Saab 340 is about to start life as a flying classroom and laboratory. So we currently take students from 24 different UK universities and we give them a flight test engineer experience. So aerospace engineering students learn the reality of flying from, not from a whiteboard, but from being inside an instrumented aircraft which will uh, go through a series of in-flight manoeuvres so they can collect data and review how the aircraft performs. And we're also able to use the same aircraft for research. So it has a very advanced um, satellite communication capability that's built into it. And it has space within what was the baggage area to carry experimental racks. Uh, so the aircraft will actually be an amazing uh, data collection platform as well. So I'm at the um, <coughs> busy end of the airport where you can hear there is a, um, a research aircraft in the background which um, is I think just about to take off and um, we're, we're expecting this Saab 340 new research vehicle to uh, 
to land fairly shortly. I'm hoping to uh, be able to get some shots of that. I'll be using the 55 to 200, which I've been showing in the last couple of videos. Uh, so this is going to be a good test of the 55 to 200. My settings, I'm going uh, an ISO of 800. Uh, seeing as this, um, this aircraft has uh, propellers, I'm going to set the um, shutter speed at 500 so I get a bit of uh, motion blur uh, on the uh, blades uh, and we'll uh, just set the uh, aperture to automatic.